Hello everyone! Today is our first day of offline classes and I am so excited, you have no idea. It feels like it's getting back to normal again and I'm happy about that. And I'm on the way to the Gonzaga Plaza where there are cafes because I have another class now in the morning which is on Zoom. So. And it ends like 15 minutes before my <laughs> offline class here at campus. Uh, so I kind of have to do it here so I can make it in time to my offline class. Barmacha latte. I usually don't really like to have classes if I'm at a cafe because the Wi-Fi is always so bad and you know it's not working. Mm, maybe I can just use my inter my data from my phone or something. Step one, step two. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Yogi? Yogi? Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, no. Yogi? No, no, no. Our classes just ended. Look at the sky. Wow. So I can always tell when you lying, girl, you're safe. All these miles away, I just want to see you. They be giving me Number one, I saw you. It's nice to meet you. No more old girl salty. She just want to be you. I'm a dog, no more I just came to the cafe and it's 10.28 just in time. Well, I'm gonna drink my ice americano. Okay, I will listen to my class now and I will get back to you guys later.
I wanted to kind of answer some questions about maybe how I came to Korea and what I'm doing here maybe like <laughs> clear that out I am a Sogang University student and I am majoring in at the hold on <laughs> at the School of Arts, Media and Science and I am planning to go into art and technology later uh, but that's something that you do when you start your sophomore year so I am a freshman first of all I didn't have a topic score or anything so I had to take an I E I L T S test, I think that's what it's called. Since I didn't have a Korean topic score, I am mandatory. I have to. Man, how do I say this? I have to take Korean classes. And as regards of preparing for coming to Korea, I mean, learning a little bit of the language and a little bit of an insight on the culture is probably a good idea I mean for, this is not my first time coming to Korea so for me it was not a necessarily new thing that I had to prepare a lot for so for me I learned Korean a little bit in Sweden and also I would say where I learned it the most was two years ago when I was in Korea I learned Korean at a Korean academy during a four or five month period <sighs> and then I came to Korea and I had to take a level test and I ended up in level two so one of the difficulties living in Korea as a foreigner the language with the language barrier the simple thing can be hard to do just ordering food at a cafe can be a hard thing if you don't know little phrases and little things but it's something that you can get used to easily so don't worry too much if you're planning to come here I'm not trying to scare you and the next question though I cannot give you the perfect answer for this I've only had online classes uh, for my university classes as well as my Korean classes but uh, last week the Korean classes started face to face so I've only had a week of face to face classes so I haven't got to experience the university life. I do not live on campus either. I don't get that experience either of campus life. Yeah, I haven't even seen the whole campus yet. That's how little experience of the university life I've had here. But I will say that all of my experience that I've had so far on Zoom have all been good, no problems whatsoever um, it's really easy to find help and guidance if you need help and guidance at least at my university which I'm so thankful for it's easy to just throw out a little email asking about certain things and they will answer within a day or two uh, which is a plus uh, and I am very excited to fully start my university life here once COVID is poof gone and for the next question I mean first of all I am very impressed by their transportation and I think all foreigners can agree with me maybe not I shouldn't say that maybe not it's cheap and there's buses and subways everywhere they're very simple very easy so that's a huge plus even taxis it's easy to find a taxi and they are fairly affordable at least compared to where I'm from Sweden but one thing that I really, really like about Korea is that there is so much to do. There are so many things that you can do here. Just going to cafes. The cafes here are insane. You can find any type of cafe that you could ever possibly think of here. I mean, there's drawings cafes, there's pet cafes, all kinds of pet cafes. There is cute, unique cafes. There is everything which makes just the little things so much more fun and cool and interesting you know what i mean okay thank you everyone my class is starting soon so i will be heading to class thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for listening to me <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.